Just got your kids a new Microsoft device? Then you may be worried about their online safety. No worries. In this video, I'll be showing you steps you can take to protect your child from online scams, inappropriate content, and monitor your kids' activities online. See? I told you to subscribe. What's up guys, John Joseph back with another helpful video. This time, we're looking out for you parents out there who just want some security or of those of you who just want to spy on your kids. Either way, it's none of my business. I'm just here to show you how. So first things first, you'll need a Microsoft account for yourself and another one for the child that you'll be setting up parental controls for. If you don't have a Microsoft account, simply head over to Microsoft.com to create one. Once you're done with that and you're signed into your computer with it, head over to Start Click Settings. When the Settings app opens, click Accounts, then look for Family and Other Users. And finally, click Add Family Member. A new Microsoft account window will pop up asking for an email address. Choose Add a Member and enter the child's email address. If you don't already have an email address for your child, then go ahead and create one. After you get that email set up, you'll notice that your child has been added to your list of family members in Windows settings and the status is child. Parental controls are already enabled using the most common settings and the account is ready to use. Have the child log on to their account while connected to the internet to complete the process. If your child had an existing Microsoft account and you use that email address, you'll be prompted to log into that account and will have to follow directions in the invitation email. In this case, the status for the account will say child pending. The child will then need to log on while connected to the internet to complete the setup process also. Now for the most part, this will be enough as parental controls are already set for the accounts we choose as child. But we can look at all the other controls and tweaks parental controls has to offer. Type family into the search box next to start, select family options, and then choose view family settings. Here you may be asked to log in. Let's say you want to control screen time for kids. After all, they got to do their homework too, right? To do that, locate the child's account from the list of accounts included with your family. Select screen time below your child's name to open the screen time tab. And from there, you can make changes to the default screen time settings using the drop down list and daily timelines. We can select more options under your child's name and choose content restrictions. Here, add any apps or websites you wish to block or allow and select an appropriate age rating. But keep in mind that content restrictions will only work on Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer. You can block other browsers here as well, and it is a good idea to do so also. If for some reason they have access to a browser that is not a Microsoft one, your restrictions won't apply. After you set content restrictions for your child, it's a good idea to turn on activity reporting so you get weekly reports of their online activity. You can block or allow things right from the report. Go to family.microsoft.com and sign in with your Microsoft account and then you'll find your child's name and select activity. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.